Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be wrapping up the stock market news of the day. So Sensex and Nifty have been in a downward move today. Sensex was down 189 points at 37,451 and Nifty was down 59 points at 11,046. Edelweiss Financial, Obra Realty, Tata Global and ICICI Prudential rallied 5 to 10% today while RBL Bank plunged 12%. Of the Sensex 30 stocks, 23 stocks ended lower including Yes Bank, Tata Steel, Vedanta, ONGC, Tata Motors, Maruti Suzuki, NTPC, Mahindra and & Mahindra and Hero Motor Corp which corrected by 2 to 7%. HCL Technologies, Infosys, Tech Mahindra and HDFC bucked the trend and rallied a bit today. And in commodity market update, as of 4.45 p.m. Indian Standard Time, the international Brent crude oil futures are trading at $60.19 per barrel. US WTI crude oil futures are trading at $55.69 per barrel. Gold is trading at 39,175 rupees per 10 gram which is 0.34% higher than the previous close. Silver is trading at 46,524 rupees per kilogram, which is 1.21% higher than the previous close. And in currency updates, the US dollar Indian rupee currency pair is currently trading at 71.78 rupees to the dollar, which is 0.35% higher than the previous close. And in other stock market news, the Lib Build Con Company informed the exchanges that the project rehabilitation and upgradation of the Upuralam Angole section with paved shoulder in Andhra Pradesh has been provisionally completed. The provisional completion certificate has been issued by the authority and declared the project fit for entry into operation as on July 20, 2019, according to the company's BSE filing. CG Power said that the company will take one to two quarters to decide future course of action for the Hungary and Belgium business. Their sale of Kanjurmarg land and CH house will fetch 600 crore rupees and they have reached out to lenders with a resolution plan. Shares of IDBI Bank plunged 10% intraday after the global rating agency S&P placed the lender on credit watch citing uncertainty over meeting capital requirements. The S&P Global Ratings has placed its double B long term and a B short term foreign currency issuer credit ratings on IDBI Bank on credit watch with negative implications. Shares of Hindustan Unilever declined 2% on BSC amid reports that the company cut prices of some of its soap by as much as 30% in a bid to cope with weak demands and amid tough competition. India Ratings and Research Private Limited affirming credit rating for Sagar Cements Limited bank facilities as IND A- with the outlook as stable. Shares of the telecom major have been performing poorly since it came into existence after the merger of Vodafone India and Idea Cellular in 2018. The year to date, the stock has lost about 77% of its market value on the BSC. Coffee Day Enterprises has been locked in 5% lower circuit after the care ratings has downgraded the credit rating on Coffee Day Global's long-term bank facilities to a triple B from A and continued on credit rating, rating with negative implications. Shares of Kalpataru Power Transmission plunged more than 12% intraday today after the company said that the World Bank has issued it a notice over alleged irregularities in its Africa business. The company said that World Bank has alleged process violations in its bid that it has been submitted to for two projects. The World Bank is providing funds for the works. Indian Oil Corporation plans to invest 2 lakh crore rupees, which is equivalent to $27.98 billion in five, seven years, five to seven years to meet energy needs of diverse user groups. Chairman Sanjeev Singh told in a shareholder meeting. Indian Oil Corporation through its 11 refineries controls about a third of India's 5 million barrels per day refining capacity. Toyota and Suzuki have entered into a capital alliance agreement. Accordingly, Toyota plans to acquire 4.9% stake in Suzuki worth 96 billion yen 
and Suzuki plans to acquire stake in Toyota worth 48 billion yen. Coffee Day Enterprises said it has gotten approval from the Registrar of Companies for extension of their annual general meeting for the financial year 2019, which is due to be held on or before September 30th for another period of 45 days. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to start trading in the stock market, just click the link in the description to create your DMAT account with Alice Blue. With Alice Blue's brokerage services, you'll get the best exposures and margin for trading in the stock market today.